In today's project, we'll make this simple machinist rule. We'll teach you how to work with SVGs, how to align thin stock, and how to use high strength double-sided tape for simple fixturing. Let's dive in. The Bantam Tools desktop milling machine software can interpret SVGs in two ways. Basic SVG handling reads fills as engravings and strokes as cutouts. Advanced SVG handling allows you to do multiple cutout operations in one file using color coding. Pure green indicates an outer cutout, pure red indicates an inner cutout, and pure blue indicates engraving. This design uses advanced SVG handling. You can download it from a project guide on the website. There you'll also find more details on creating your own SVG file. For this project, we're using two tools, a four millimeter Datron single flute flat end mill and an 80 degree metal engraving bit. Select them in the initial setup and toggle on advanced SVG handling. We'll load our engraving tool first and locate it using the bed. Next, we'll measure the dimensions of our stock and enter them in the material setup tab. For fixturing, we're using high strength double-sided tape. Ensure the surface of the stock is clean and cover it completely with tape. Now press the material into place using the L bracket as a backstop and center it in the bed. And then enter the tape thickness as a Z offset in the material setup menu. The tape from our store measures 7th out thick. All right, let's locate the material. Uh, launch the probing menu and select manual placement. Jog and then carefully step the tool into position over the front left edge and hit the set X and set Y zero buttons. The preview will update on the right. The design will fit well within the stock, so the exact X and Y location of the stock isn't critical. This is the same workflow you would use with non-conductive materials. Now configure the exact Z height by going to the plan setup tab. Launch the single axis conductive probing routine and jog the spindle over the workpiece. Use a collet wrench to bridge the gap between the stock and the bed in order to create a conductive loop. Perform the Z probing routine, review and accept the value, and then remove the wrench. Before you start milling, use manual plan position controls to adjust your plan placement. Go ahead and adjust the X and Y plan position away from the material edge a quarter of an inch. Now there is a healthy buffer between the design and the edge of the material. Okay, let's do this. First the engraving, then the software will pause and ask you to swap in the flat end mill for the internal cutout. And I'll use the same tool for the outer cutout. With the rule fully engraved and cut out, go ahead and remove it from the mill. If you want to stop here, have at it and go measure some stuff. But there's one more thing we can do. Customize the back. Let's do a simple flip and then reprobe our workpiece. Close the old design and treat the rule as a new piece of stock. Measure and enter the new stock dimensions. Control U on PC and Command U on Mac allows you to toggle quickly between Imperial and metric units. Basic SVG handling will suffice since we're doing a single engraving operation. Leave engraving toggled on and disable the cutout. Reload the engraving tool and perform a tool touch off. Position the material and software using the same manual plan routine as before to set the X and Y. And set the Z height and plan placement using the single axis probing routine. Double check the preview looks right and if everything looks good, start milling. Soon you'll have a complete project made using just SVG files and the Bantam Tools desktop milling machine software. Congratulations, and as always, happy milling.